What is up guys? If you have been wondering what was I doing for the past few weeks, I can tell you that I have been modding. Now this includes some custom skins and the hanger. If you notice, I'm actually not on premium account, but I am in a premium garage. Also, the screen over here has my old channel art, and on this side you have the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe guys. Okay, the point of today's video is, I bring you two custom skins for the Tiger 2, I mean, excuse me, the Kuro Morimini, or the Tiger 1. Now these are completely handmade by me, I've worked on these for a couple of hours, or yes, a couple of hours. So you have the desert version and the winter version. So taking a close look, as you can see this mod is actually based off the one from War Thunder. Now of course War Thunder is completely a different engine, the world tank splits and the graphics are a lot better. But I tried my best to give you a sense of this battle worn tiger. So let's take a look, as in the front you have these really dirty muddy low glazers. On the uh, front panel or the up glazers you have these rust. And on the side, the tracks, I can't really edit the files of the tracks, so the tracks are pretty new. But the roll wheels are also pretty dirty and muddy. On the side skirt, you have rust and dirt running along, and more mud over here. Over here, I added a German iron cross. And to the turret of the side of the turret, you got these a lot of rusty stuff and these marks from the gunpowder, which is black. So it can also interpret as dirt and to the rear you have these uh, marks of carbon emission I guess from the the uh, exhaust pipes Sorry, I'm just pointing out right now over here on the lower parts you saw also have some more mud um, I've also tried to not to like dirty any of these tools because they do stand out among this yellow paint so the other version is a winter version and I'll show you that in a moment right now. Okay so here we have the winter version, now this is a completely white camel. Well technically it's actually the same file as the desert one, I just replaced the yellow with the white. So I was like, um, if I already made a desert one, why don't I just make one for the winter or the snow. So I can show you the Photoshop file that I used. As you can see, this is the edited skin file. It composes of multiple layers. Now the base layer, of course, is the old uh, Tiger 1. This, hold up, let me just cancel all this. All right, so the base layer is this generic Tiger file. I added a layer of rust, and I kind of removed some rust from some places because I had to uh, keep those areas clean. And I, I added a layer of dirt for the side skirts, layer of dirt for the exhaust pipe, layer of dirt for the front lower glazes, layer of dirt for the rear uh, plates, one for the internal side of the tank, and one for the road wheels and the wheels, one for the fenders, one, and the final one is the yellow camel over off the tank. The other file is the winter version, and it's actually quite similar if you compare these two. I just replaced the yellow color with the white color. Now let's see how these tanks perform in a map. Okay, so now I'm going to do this for the Mac users. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go to any browser. I'm going to use my Google Chrome. And then there is a link in the description below. I want you to copy that and enter that in. That will bring you to a Google Drive file. You're going to download that zip file. It's going to download. It's really small, so it shouldn't take that long. I'm going to save it as that seems good. Alright, so that is your file right there. What you're going to do is you're going to uncompress it, and inside there you're going to see two files. And let's see, if you want to in, in, um, 
These are actually the same files, but one's winter, one's desert. If you want to in install the desert one, what you want to do is you want to copy this tiger file, copy it. And what you're going to do is that you're going to go to Macintosh HD, Applications, right click on World Tank Splits, show package contents, contents, resources, data, 3D, tanks, Japan. And I'm going to images. Now this is really important. Make sure that you go to images instead of just the Japan file. After you get into images, go ahead and paste that file into here. It's going to ask you to replace it or not. You're going to go ahead and click replace. Usually it's going to ask you for a password to ask for permission, but that um, I just don't have that set up right now. There you go. That's how you install the desert one. But winter one's actually really sim easy. Basically the same thing, you just copy that file again and then paste it here. Now it's going to replace the original desert file. Now I actually like the desert file better, so I'm going to put the desert file back in. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for this skin mod. Be sure to stay tuned to this channel. I have a couple more skin mods coming up. For example, I'm working on the Type 62. Actually, this is the model of the Type 59. I modded the Type 62 to look like Type 59. So on the side here, you have this Chinese Liberation Army. And for example, you have the Rudy, which I removed the Rudy and added a Soviet star, more Soviet stars. American tanks, I've added some army circles, and Target 2, I've added the Iron Cross. Also, I've also established some social networking accounts. I have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So be sure to follow me on that, and the link of that is also in the description below. And remember to leave a like to this video if you enjoyed this skin model that I made and I'll see you in the next video. See you.